Bonjour and welcome to the best of Tesla Tour. What a thrill to finish this delicious series from the romantic city of Paris and experience its amazing food. It is always a joy for me to rediscover Paris. The Patisserie des Rêves is a special destination for French pastry lovers. Philippe Conticini, one of the leaders of the revolution of French pâtisserie, has spent years modernizing traditional French gâteaux like the Millefeuille and the Saint-Honoré. His Paris-Brest was voted the best in Paris. Ma, ma façon de, de faire les choses, c'est de pouvoir toucher les gens. J'ai revisité tous les classiques en 2009. J'ai tellement travaillé dessus, mais tellement, ça m'a pris tellement de temps, au travers de la structure, de l'eau, de l'air, de l'humidité, que ces classiques étaient les gâteaux les plus créatifs que j'ai fait dans ma vie. Philippe would like me to test his stunning vanilla and red fruit charlotte, a complex structure of vanilla mousse, fruit jelly and raspberry compote trapped in a light sponge biscuit. The magic is the mix of the vanilla with the raspberry that makes the flavor of the raspberry last so long. C'est très bon. Thank you. This appetizing cherry and almond tart was traditionally made with cherries grown just outside Paris. I first mix two eggs with 50 grams of caster sugar, then add 50 ml of cream, 60 grams of soft butter, 100 grams of almond meal, and whisk well. Next, I line a greased tart mold with a thin layer of sweet pastry and spread the almond cream over the pastry shell. I like to garnish the top generously with juicy pitted cherries. I bake the tart in a preheated oven at 180 degrees until the base is cooked. It looks great dusted with icing sugar. Voilà the delicious tart Amandine au cerise de Paris. Right in the heart of Paris since 1760, the Grand Véfour is an historic restaurant and a gem of the 18th century decorative art. Napoleon Bonaparte enjoyed dining here. Guy Martin, the owner, is one of the most poetic and passionate French chefs. For me, the cuisine is really a language. It has no tabou, it has no frontiers. These are notes like the music. What is really important is really important, the respect. Respect du produit, respect du paysan, de l'éleveur, du cultivateur, du pêcheur. À moi de donner le meilleur après avec ma cuisine. These dishes are sophisticated, with the vegetables often the star. My dish of roast monkfish with radish and black rice is music to my palate. His desserts are fruity and playful. This chocolate box filled with summer fruits and sorbets adds to the magic of this place. Et quand les clients repartent avec le sourire, c'est le plus beau compliment de la terre pour moi. This superb last meal in France, in such an amazing setting, has brightened my heart. Very good. This is my last ever Tesla tour, and I am thankful to SBS Sport and SBS Food for entrusting me with the task of presenting this gourmet journey for the last 15 years. Angie, my wife and I are indebted to Peter Warren for his amazing photography, editing skills and creativity. Together we have produced 315 shows, shared over 1,000 meals and drove at least 50,000 kilometers over 16 months through the many scenic roads of the Tour de France. Merci to the many great chefs, including the late Paul Bocuse, Michel Gerard, and a very special thank you to chef and friend Philippe Mouchel. French pâtissiers have impressed me with their most stunning, delicious and irresistible cakes and desserts. I have loved discovering how the best French cheeses are made from the crème de la crème of cheese masters. And appreciated all the talented vignerons and of course, tasting their amazing wines. Merci to musician Phil Carroll and to sommelier Christian Meyer. And to you, thank you for watching Tesla Tour with Gabriel Gatte and long live the Tour de France.